Hello everyone and welcome to the first video of 2020. This is the Flying Scotsman here and unfortunately I'm still kind of getting over a cold so I'm feeling a bit nasally and my voice is a wee bit gone. Well, not fully there so uh, I hope you all can uh, kind of uh, deal with that for this video. Um, but um, yeah, this is my first video of 2020. I wasn't, uh, I was going to have a bit more of a break, but um, oh well. Um, I've decided to make this video because, um, well, a couple of years ago, actually for TFS, well, it would have been known then as VSF Christmas 2017, I got this tablet. Now this is an Amazon Fire HD 8, it was the 2017 version, and um, I got it as my secondary tablet. It uh, runs, I think it's Fire OS, which is basically Android. Um, if I go into CPU Z, we can actually have a we can have a wee kick at the specs. So let's do that. So it has um, an ARM 02X D03. That sounds like very hex. Um, quad core up to 1.3 gigahertz. Um, Obviously, it's Amazon. It's got a 1280 by 736 display. Um, total RAM, 1.4 gigs, pretty much. Um, 16 gigs worth of storage. And, yeah, that's, that's about it. I, I think it's uh, it has an camera on the back uh, and the front as well I, I forget um, I forget the resolution of it but um, hopefully if we go into settings we can, we can maybe uh, find that out can we? I, I don't know uh, yeah, oh well, oh these are the funny filters and what have you, um, you can do HDR obviously, um, <coughs> But um, I've had this tablet and I've been using it uh, for the past couple of years now and for the most part it's been absolutely fine. Like I said, it's only my secondary tablet. Um, the 8 inch screen has been fine. Um, but because I use it in the bathroom, I think it's because I use it in the bathroom while I'm taking a shower sometimes, the speakers have started to go on it. It had two stereo speakers but now only one of those is working and even then it's not the best and also the 8 inch screen is getting a wee bit cramped see my main tablet is a Dell Venue Pro 7140 you probably saw the uh, video about uh, about that uh, during TFS Christmas uh, this last year 2019 if you haven't please go and see that video um, so yeah we, we had that um, trouble is there's no real good magazine read uh, electronic magazine reader for Windows that a lot of my magazines are on. Um, I mean, there's Xenio, but not everything's on there. And the Kindle magazine stand isn't available on all devices. So I've decided to I've decided it's time to upgrade this tablet and get something a wee bit more modern. So, here it is. 
Got it today from Amazon. So, as you can see, I'm going to make a, a, make a complete mince of uh, trying to open this uh, package. This is, this is going rather well. Oh, no, we've got it. Got it. So, here we are. Now this, folks, is the Amazon Fire HD 10 with Alexa. Now this is actually a box shaped box instead of being a carry out shaped box with the uh, with a pointy end like the HD8. Still using the uh, orange though that I've noticed. Um, this was supposed to be the blue one but um, when I actually went and ordered it I, I made a complete I made a complete horlicks of that so I've got the black one. Ah uh, well, I have ordered a folio case for it. Uh, maybe it'll, maybe it'll show up. Maybe it'll be chocolate brown. Who knows? Um, so, this is quite enough packaging there. Amazon. So this is um, thirty-two gig, ten eighty p. Um, Fire HD ten. And uh, so if we read the spec sheet, if I can, hang on, let me, uh, let me get my magnifying glass there for a moment. Uh, wait a minute, this folks. Ten point one inch HD display, nineteen twenty by twelve hundred. Micro SD card, uh, micro SD slot up to five hundred twelve gigabytes. Octa core, dual band Wi Fi, front and rear cameras, and Dolby Atmos. Fast and responsive with full HD display. Brilliant ten point one inch, twenty five point six centimeter, ten eighty p full HD display, nineteen twenty by twelve hundred. And powerful octa-core processor, long-lasting battery with USB-C port for easy charging and up to 512 gigs of expandable storage for offline viewing. Designed for widescreen entertainment, video, videos, games and web content look and sound amazing in vivid full HD with more than 2 million pixels, stereo speakers and Dolby Atmos. Stream your favourite content with dual band 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. Watch, listen, read and play. Access millions of movies, TV programs, songs, Kindle, ebooks, magazines, apps and games, including BBC iPlayer, Facebook and Spotify. Watch downloaded videos anywhere with a Prime Video or a Netflix subscription. Just ask Alexa. <coughs> She's probably listening on this tablet now. Nope, she isn't. Nope, she, she managed to, uh, she managed to keep out. Because uh, I um, I remember to set the keep the fuck out of my business option on uh, A L E X A. Sorry guys, if I've uh, triggered uh, your Amazon Echoes. I should I should really spell it. I, I mean I do have fun sometimes with other people's um, Echoes. So uh, I've got a friend in Leeds, and um, I was chatting to her. Uh, I can't remind if I was uh, down the road actually. Or whether I was up here just yelling at her echo. Um, <laughs> so that's that's always fun. Um, it's like the um, it's like when the Xbox One came out with uh, with Connect, and, um, and and the the advert demonstrated someone actually using um, uh, Cortana on the Xbox, and uh, you know it's like Xbox on, and everyone. <laughs> Everyone with an Xbox and Connect ended up with powered up Xboxes uh, at the end of that advert. I mean, that's, that is a troll move right there. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> I've added some pretty vulgar things to uh, people's uh, Amazon Echo shopping list uh, at the time. Um, 
thanks to uh, South Park for the ideas. I, I will be honest. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I've even... I've, I've even tried uh, making an Amazon Echo have a conversation with my smartphone and um, in Google, uh, Google's assistant, which is quite funny. Um. <laughs> anyway, so just ask A-L-E-X-A. A-L-E-X-A is built into Fire HD 10. You can ask her to play videos and music, open apps and games, or make video calls to friends and family who have an Echo device or the A-L-E-X-A app, A-L-E-X-A is always happy to help. No, she has me. Um, <clears throat> great for the Hale family. Easy to use. Parental controls lets you manage screen time limits, set educational goals, and give kids access to age-appropriate content, including tens of thousands of curated websites and web videos. <laughs> What's included? Well, what is included in this? Well, we'll have a look. Black Fire HD 10 tablet, 9th gen, Amazon power adapter, USB charging cable, built-in rechargeable battery, personalized special offers, and sponsored screensavers. Yeah, so that, uh, the special offers thing is basically adware. Um, you know, you pay 10 pounds less, and in return for which Amazon will sell you a tablet which is either a 7, 8 or 10 inch billboard! So, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's time to open this. Now, just like with the, with the HD8, I believe I forgot to uh, tell Amazon not to personalise the tablet. So, when I switch this on, is probably going to come up with my Amazon account details. I uh, wasn't ready for that when I uh, got the HD8, um, but I am here. So, let's, uh, there's a pull tab here, uh, but it's, it's not really pulling much of anything apart from now there we go i have ordered a case for it it's a third party didn't fancy paying 40 quid for the amazon one i quite like the uh, amazon smile thing that's been cut out here but uh must admit i have had quite a few amazon devices in fact i've uh, had more amazon tablets than any other make well, just now, anyway. So I've got the tablet, got some uh, instructions. Hello, hello, bonjour, ciao, hola. Konnichiwa? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, things to try, important information. Got a USB-C uh, cable. So uh, this is a more modern tablet. And the Amazon plug. Now, they will sell you a faster plug, but that's an extra 15 quid. I noticed that. It's quite fly, Amazon. Um, <clears throat> maybe not a bad idea to get at some point, but uh, depending on how you feel about fast charging. Um, maybe best with the slower one, because it saves you money and your battery. So, uh, well, I'll leave that up to the jury to decide. Will I? Okay, so we've got the tablet here, and um, let's, let's have a look. It's, uh, I was going to get one of these at Christmas, and I have this horrible, horrible feeling that it was uh, cheaper at Christmas time. Um, in order to afford this, so I am obviously going to sell the HD8 because I don't need it anymore. Okay, so here's the tablet all sh oh, shiny and new and I'm getting electric shocks from it. Why has that happened? Right, so let's uh, let's have a look. Um, so what I believe to be the left side of the tablet, uh, it's nothing. Um, on 
I don't, I don't know what we're calling the bottom or the top actually. Um, maybe, maybe James Clemens. Right. Okay. Um, on this side, whatever side it is, the, the side with the top camera, you can put it that way or that way. You have a power button, um, the USB C charger, headphones, and uh, volume up and down buttons. Uh, then on the other side, which I'm guessing actually must be the bottom, if uh, the HD8 is anything to go by, you've got uh, two speakers, a left speaker and a right speaker. Um, on the other side, there is absolutely nothing at all. And on the top, there is a memory card slot. So, you've got your screen on the front, you've got a camera there, and then you've got another camera there. Smell for the camera. There we go. So, so slightly uh, different interface. So, go English, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, and I don't know why the screen suddenly got dim. Okay, and then the, this is uh, for the Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to connect to that. There we go, just a sec. Updating your files. The latest fire software is downloading. Installing up your updates. Please wait while your fire updates. Okay, this is um, register my fire. Um, so it's not obvious. I've not set this up with my Amazon account uh, preemptively. So I will do that now. Okay. Um, restore my fire. Now I could choose to restore from from my previous Amazon Fire. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to. Um, so I can then choose to enable location services, which I will. Auto save photos and videos, which I won't. Save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon, which again, I will not do that. What's new? Updates to new and exciting features so you can do more with your tablet. Performance improvements and bug fixes. Um, so, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got an update. So while this is away updating, I should probably talk a bit about um, this tablet. You see, this one has... I actually installed all the Google Play stuff to it. Um, so I get access to things like YouTube. I get the Firefox browser. Um, and a few other Google apps. And, you know, I did that because it's stuff that I use on Google. Um... However, between me buying this tablet and now, uh, Google actually um, made it, uh, well, I heard tell that they were going to be deleting their services off of non-supported devices, but I managed to kind of get away with that, with that not happening. And this tablet had, had obviously updated itself over time. So, I mean, that's something. To think about um, whether I want to try and use the Google Play services on here. I certainly use these tablets for Calibre, the audiobook library, and, and I would uh, maybe like to continue doing so actually. Um, better than 
using my phone and having that tied up, uh, you know, connected to Bluetooth, you know, people potentially phoning me on it and what have you. But, I mean, that that is a small thing. But in terms of Android tablets, I mean, Samsung keep kicking them out, yes, but, I mean, really the only ones that make any kind of modicum of common sense are these Amazon ones. That said, there is a criticism I would like to make. I mean, okay, this tablet was quite a lot cheaper than a lot of the competition at £149. But I would like to maybe think about something I would... I would maybe like to think about the amount of RAM it has. It's a 2019 model, yes? Why are we only to uh, toting 2 gigs of RAM on these still? Come on, guys. I bought a tablet three years ago. Uh, for not much more that had two gigs of RAM. Yeah, it was a transformer, so it had a keyboard with it as well. But uh, and uh, you know, just like this tablet, it was a quad core CPU, one point uh, four gigahertz, apparently. Uh, it was a Atom, but um, that only had two gigs of RAM. But on Windows, that really didn't make sense. This thing only has a gig and a half and you know I've been able to use it pretty well for the most part and there is a lot of old shite on here if I'm going to be completely honest. <sighs> so yeah. So this is a 720p screen-ish, and this is a 1080p screen-ish, well it's more 1200p, uh, but um, you know, I think the higher resolution will come in quite useful. We'll see how uh, good the uh, font scaling is, because um, actually I think I might have installed I might have installed a program that would bump that up a wee bit. Can't remember what it was, but uh, I'd, I'm, I'm sure it is on here. So, right, installing the update. Please wait while your fire updates. Okay, meet your fire tablet. From watching movies and reading books to asking Alexa for the weather. There are many ways to enjoy your new Fire Tablet. Try asking Alexa to play music, make calls, check the news on your commute and more. Just say, Alexa, to get your tablet's attention. Alexa, what's the weather? Tomorrow, in London, you can expect lots of clouds with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 8 degrees. Make hands-free video calls to friends and family. Alexa, call mum. Calling mum. And find what you want to watch. Alexa, show me action films. Here's what I found. I don't remember that film. If you have an Amazon Prime membership, you get unlimited access to thousands of movies and TV shows, over two million songs, and even selected books, comics, and magazines that you can borrow at no additional cost. And with For You, a page of curated content personalised to your tastes, it's easy to discover new things. Enjoy your new Fire Tablet. Get started with Alexa. Let's, oops, I said her name. Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> so I've just hit disable because I... I don't need the Amazon wiretap, if I'm going to be completely honest. I don't want to make my fire child friendly. No, I do not. Get more of your fire tablet with Goodreads. Yep. I'm going to connect my account. Okay, well, I've uh, done a lot of the... Uh, Amazon stuff, so 
There's a few things to add that I can add. Facebook, video for YouTube, Plex, CPU-Z, uh, let's get Twitter, Netflix, because I, I do get it sometimes, just not all the time. Um, and Scrabble. Um, yep. And there we go. So we're at the uh, we're at the main desktop and everything is very small. So I'm gonna see if I can up the font size a bit because this I I can barely barely read this at all. Just I I just can't. Um. So font size default. I can slider up the way. There we go, that, uh, I'll turn on the screen magnifier. Um, audio description. Oh dear, I, I don't know what I've done. Oh, no, there we go. And I could convert stereo to mono if I wanted. And there we go. So there is the... Uh... So, what I'm going to do is swing this round. And then just lock it into place, aspect ratio wise. And then... Um, see if I can play a video. Nostalgia Mall. And there we go, we're playing uh, Billy's latest. Good afternoon, this is Billy Core from Home of Carolina Circle Mall dot com and today is a momentous Well, who remembers when that was a thing? Home of Carolina Circle Mall dot com. So, there we go. So this is the Amazon Fire HD 10.1, completely set up now. Just need to wait now for my uh, new case and get uh, this other one ready to try and sell. So, I hope you've all enjoyed this video. And if you have, please join me um, for my next video. And... Um, well, I hope you're all looking forward to a year of um, extra bull content throughout 2020 because it's not going to be much different to 2019. <laughs> but uh, with that all said, thank you for watching and please join me for my next video. Cheerio, bye.